To the beating of drums, people all over Hong Kong celebrated another Dragon Boat Festival today. Teams of men and women sweated, cheered and paddled together in the annual event. Despite the heat and humidity, spirits were high as people frantically raced to the finish lines in Stanley Sha Tin, Sai Kung and Tai Po. From the heart of the high-rise city, thousands flocked to the seaside for the popular sporting events. For some, it's a fiercely competitive event. And there's no denying that it's hard work. Oh, because it's exhausting. Yeah. But for most people, it's about competing, having fun, and dressing up. We came last, but with style. No, we like came fashionably that. late. <laughs> fashionably late. Yeah. Unlike more traditional races in Sha Tin and Tai Po, Stanley is where many teams compete in fancy dress to win a best dressed competition as well. In Sha Tin, it was more of a family event. Many children were excited to watch the teams competing. At 700 meters, Tai Po is the longest dragon boat race, making it a test of endurance and stamina. This woman said although men are stronger, it's important for women to compete. We have the determination, she said. The festival's proper name is Tung Wu, and it dates back to the 3rd century. According to legend, a Chinese poet drowned himself in a river fighting for political reform. Townspeople tried to rescue him by beating drums, pounding the water with their paddles and throwing rice dumplings to stop the fish from eating his flesh. The tradition of eating rice dumplings and taking part in dragon boat races continues to this day. And in Stanley, at least, it also appears to involve drinking plenty of beer. I think it's just a classic mix of East and West. So you've got all the tradition of the Chinese origin, the story of the start of dragon boating, but you've also got uh, all the involvement from all the corporates and the teams. Traditionally, dragon boats are made from wood, but one of the changes this year is the introduction of fiberglass boats. The boats hold more people, are lighter and were built in China especially for the event. Organizers hope they will enhance the international image of the sport. Turnout across the city was said to be good, particularly in Stanley. Well this year we've got 206 teams. It's about the same size as it's been before but we've got about 30,000 people. <laughs> Despite raining on and off throughout the day, nothing could dampen the paddler spirits. It's a carnival atmosphere here in Stanley, and whether people are here to win or just have fun, it's all about team spirit. Laura Westbrook, ATV News.